Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got several items to hit in weather, astronomy, and space weather interaction with geophysics, looking back to the record-breaking solar storm we had last year. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We find a mostly calm day, but with increasing activity. Solar flares have reached back up into the M-class range. More could occur today, along with plasma filament destabilizations. Now, the eruptive threat seems like it would be waning, with the larger sunspot groups clustered on the departing hemisphere, ready to depart our view to the right and onto the far side of the sun. But new ones do appear to be emerging from the left as well. And honestly, the most violently eruptive events yesterday do appear to have involved the plasma filaments anyway. We'll keep the space weather alert on a slight rise as we head towards the equinox. But up next, we're going to the weather. Folks, we've got near hurricane wind gusts expected for me in central Colorado tonight. Another powerful low will cause red flag alerts, blizzard conditions, and as it heads to the east, probably some severe weather as well. Eyes open in your forecast as there is enough juice in the atmosphere right now not to ignore them. Even have a tropical system warned in the Atlantic here two months before the start of hurricane season. That's fun. Someone get the Atlantic a calendar. Heading to astronomy next where the powerful super flares on Proxima Centauri are poised for an examination. This first one was just a little 50 hour viewing campaign to characterize the optical and millimeter wavelength patterns to flares. Eventually, they do hope to catch a major one like its record super flare back in 2012, which is likely when the galactic current sheet overcame that system. Before we get to our top story today, goldobservers.com from Gold Co. was made for you, observers who want to fill out their gold and silver prepping. It's obviously a backstop for the modern economy. It's barter rich in the intermediate period, but gold is an epic electromagnetic reflector and an easier wire making substance than copper in the catastrophe. Silver has ionic antimicrobial release upon contact with skin moisture or blood. Any stage of the disaster. That's why serious preppers have gold and silver. Goldobservers.com Coming down the stretch, why not? After all the other records broken by the Mother's Day solar storm last year, why not the record equatorial super fountain of plasma? The what, you say? So, when the sun fires a solar flare and CME at the Earth, the first contact of the plasma is on the front sun-facing side. Compression and Van Allen belt electrons force downward. Then, as the polar cusps allow the plasma to directly enter the upper atmosphere at the polar region, triggering the auroras, the infrared, gravity waves, and electric currents travel equatorward. This also happens on Jupiter, by the way. And when they crash in the middle, where the electron energy density has spiked, it fountains upward and onto either side of the magnetic equator. That fountain super effect in May 2024 was the largest event in the swarm era, even bigger than the great 2017 solar storm. I do hope that made some sense. Folks, we have several big events in April and May. Four out of five weeks during our season kickoff, there are major weekends at Observer Ranch. Go to ObserverRanch.com for details and book your stay. Right now, you can bring your RV, rent one of ours, or try out our 3D printed mini home. It's awesome. Come see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.